section one of apples in appealing ways this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org read by betty b apples in appealing ways by mary t swickard apples in appealing ways almost everyone enjoys apples and there are so many ways to use apples that a family need never tire of them this leaflet is designed to supplement the better known apple recipes given in many cookbooks you will find here some new apple adventures and some variations on favorite ways of using the fruit recipes calling for applesauce and apple juice are included all recipes have been developed or adjusted by research methods to arrive at up-to-date dependable directions nutritionally speaking many families eat apples liberally for apples regularly take top or second rank among the country's most widely used fruits eaten in generous quantities especially raw apples can provide some vitamin c the food value however varies considerably depending on such factors as variety storage conditions temperature and length of keeping and finally the way the fruit is kept and served at home a small or medium-sized apple makes a very pleasant low-calorie dessert in many homes choose your apples to get the most in apple enjoyment look for a variety that suits family taste and the uses you have in mind many varieties are good for all purposes general cooking baking whole eating raw tart firm apples are generally best liked for cooking sweeter apples for eating raw early summer apples are likely to be juicy tart and quick cooking especially good in apple sauce and pies don't forget that apples that are tart and firm when picked in autumn become less crisp and snappy if stored through the winter in some areas windfalls and culls are sold at bargain rates to make sure you have a real bargain stop look and consider how you will use the fruit bruises and skin breaks mean waste and apples damaged this way are poor risks for home canning best uses for them are in jelly apple butter or cider skin russeting ordinarily does not affect apple quality if apples are to be bought in large quantity it is better to buy a few at first to try out to see whether they have the flavor and texture you want store for good keeping apples are noted for good keeping qualities but it takes a little care to hold them at their best in home storage short storage a few days to two weeks keep firm apples in a cool place sixty degrees to seventy degrees fahrenheit keep mellow ripe apples in the refrigerator longer storage up to several months if you have plenty of cool or cold storage space where temperature remains the same and the air is rather moist you can probably save money by storing autumn picked apples in quantity at home sort carefully to remove apples with bruises and skin breaks use these promptly divide the sound apples into half bushel lots and store at 32 degrees fahrenheit if you cannot provide this kind of storage use your coldest storage space where there is no danger of the fruit freezing most recipes in this leaflet provide four servings a few provide more End of section one. Section two of Apples in Appealing Ways. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Larry Wilson. Apples in Appealing Ways by Mary T. Swickard. Know Your Apples. Twelve of the widely marketed varieties. Baldwin. Season November to May. Medium to large, partially red to dull, solid red. Juicy, moderately tart, hard, crisp. Use raw in general cooking. Red Delicious. October to April. Medium to large, deep red. Five knobs on blossom end. Sweet, firm, tender, fragrant. Use raw. Golden Delicious, October to March. Medium to large, yellow, sweet, firm, crisp, tender. 
Use raw and general cooking. Grimes Golden, October to February. Small to medium. Yellow with small dark specks. Moderately juicy, slightly tart. Firm, crisp, tender, fragrant. Use raw and general cooking. Jonathan, October to February. Small to medium, deep red. Juicy, moderately tart. Tender, crisp, fragrant. Use raw and general cooking. Macintosh, October to March. Medium, bright, deep red, striped with carmine. Juicy, moderately tart. Tender, crisp, fragrant. Use raw and general cooking. Northern Spy, October to March. Large, bright, striped red. Juicy, moderately tart. Firm, crisp, tender, fragrant. Use draw and general cooking. Rome Beauty, November to May. Large, yellow mingled with red. Juicy, slightly tart, firm, rather crisp. Use general cooking, baking whole. Stamen, November to April. Medium to large, dull striped red. Juicy, tart, firm, crisp. Use raw, general cooking, baking whole. Wine sap, January to May. Small to medium, deep bright red with small scattered white dots. Juicy, slightly tart, hard, crisp, fragrant. Use raw, general cooking, baking whole. Yellow Newtown, February to June. Medium, yellow, juicy, moderately tart, hard, crisp. Use raw and general cooking. York Imperial, October to April. Medium to large, light or purplish red over yellow, lopsided shape usually, slightly tart, hard, crisp. Use raw and general cooking. End of section two. Section three of Apples in Appealing Ways. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by T.R. Love of Pleasant Hill, California. Apples in Appealing Ways by Mary T. Swickert. Section 3. Apples in the Main Course. Baked acorn squash with apples to give a sharper flavor to the mild acorn. Two small acorn squashes, a quarter cup brown sugar, three cups chopped apple, nutmeg, one half teaspoon salt, two tablespoons table fat. Cut squash in halves and scoop out seeds. Place squash in a baking dish. Fill centers with apple. Pour a little water into the dish. Cover and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, moderate oven, 30 minutes or until partly done. Sprinkle with salt, sugar, and nutmeg and dot with fat. Bake on covered about 45 minutes or until the squash is soft. Four servings. Apple fritters. Fritters are special and especially good with any lean meat, cold, sliced, or hot. 1 cup sifted flour, 1 egg, beaten, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 half cup milk, 1 and 1 half teaspoons baking powder, 1 tablespoon melted fat, 1 cup thinly sliced apples, 1 tablespoon sugar, fat for deep fat frying. Sift together flour, salt, baking powder, and sugar. Combine egg, milk, and fat. Add to the dry ingredients all at once, stirring only enough to moisten. Stir in the apples. Drop by spoonfuls into hot fat, 350 degrees to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and cook until browned. Serve with syrup or sprinkle with confectioner's sugar. Eight small fritters. Apple Stuffing one way to bring together the ever-popular pork and apple team. One quarter cup diced salt pork, one half cup chopped onion, one quarter cup chopped parsley, five medium-sized tart apples diced, 
one half cup sugar, two cups soft bread crumbs. Cook salt pork in a fry pan until crisp and remove from fat. Cook onion and parsley in the fat for a few minutes. Place apples in the pan, sprinkle with sugar. Cover and cook until tender, then continue cooking uncovered a few minutes until apples are candied. Add salt pork and bread crumbs, heat through. Yield three cups stuffing. Ways to use apple stuffing. Pile hot stuffing between two sections of spare ribs, skewer them together, and bake. Or use to stuff a bone shoulder of fresh pork. One half of this recipe will stuff four large pork chops with enough left over to cook on top of the chops. Apple relish. Easy to make, no cooking. One cup finely chopped, unpaired apples. One cup finely shredded cabbage. One half cup finely chopped celery. One tablespoon chopped green pepper. One third cup sugar. Three tablespoons vinegar. One half teaspoon salt. One quarter teaspoon ginger. One quarter teaspoon mustard. Dash of cayenne pepper. One tablespoon chopped canned pimento. Mix apples, cabbage, celery, and green pepper. Combine sugar, vinegar, spices, and pimento. Add two apples and vegetables and mix lightly but thoroughly. Yield two cups. End of section three. Section four of Apples in Appealing Ways. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by T.R. Love of Pleasant Hill, California. Apples in Appealing Ways by Mary T. Swickert. Section 4. Apples in Salad and Dressing. When something firm and crisp is wanted in salad, along with fruity flavor, apples are just the thing. They make likable combinations with more salad foods than most people ever try. Salads in this section include meat, cheese, fruits, and vegetables, even the onion, for onion lovers. Don't let apples darken. Raw apple, when cut, often darkens from exposure to air. Some nuts also make raw apple darken, especially if the fruit has come in contact with iron in a knife blade or chopper. So when cutting apples for salad, protect them from darkening by mixing the pieces with fruit juice, lemon, orange, grapefruit, or pineapple, before adding other ingredients, or mix with salad dressing at once for a protective coating. Some like it tart. To give a sharper tang to a salad, especially if apples are mild in flavor, use a tart oil dressing, lemon juice, or a sour cream dressing. Jellied Waldorf Salad Mix diced tart apples, chopped celery, and nuts. Fold into a partially thickened gelatin mixture. For two cups of the apple mixture, use one package of gelatin dessert powder and two cups of water. Chill until firm. Fruit Salad with Onion Core unpaired apples and slice in thin cross sections. Arrange on salad greens with orange slices and onion rings. Serve with a clear, tart oil dressing. Apple slaw. Moisten equal amounts of chopped apples and finely shredded cabbage with sour cream dressing. Variations. If desired, season the dressing with a little horseradish or add coarsely ground peanut butter. Main dish salads with apple. Mix one cup diced or sliced raw apple with one half cup celery and one cup of any of the following flaked tuna fish, seven ounce can, chopped cooked pork, ham, veal, chicken, turkey, diced cheese. Moisten with tart French dressing or mayonnaise and serve in lettuce cups. Four servings. For a jellied salad, Fold the above ingredients, except the dressing, into a partially thickened 
gelatin mixture made from a package of lemon or lime gelatin dessert powder and two cups of water. Chill. Serve with the dressing. Jellied this way, the recipe makes six servings. Dessert salad. Sprinkle diced apples with lemon juice. Add chopped dates, raisins, or grapes. Mix with marshmallows or cream cheese cut in small cubes. Apple juice salad dressing for fruit salads. One quarter cup sugar, two tablespoons cornstarch, one quarter teaspoon salt, juice one lemon, one cup apple juice, one egg well beaten, one three ounce package cream cheese. Mix dry ingredients, add fruit juices and blend. Cook over hot water 20 minutes, stirring frequently. Slowly stir into egg. Return to heat and cook five minutes, stirring constantly. Cool slightly. Mash cream cheese with fork. Beat into cooked mixture. Chill. Yield one cup. End of section four. Section 5 of Apples in Appealing Ways. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Apples in Appealing Ways by Mary T. Swickard. Apples in Bread and Apples in Cookies. Apples in Bread. Applesauce Bran Muffins. Softer than most bran muffins. One and one quarter cup sifted flour, three teaspoons baking powder, one half teaspoon salt, two tablespoons sugar, one cup bran, one egg beaten, one third cup milk, two thirds cup applesauce, one quarter cup melted fat. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar. Mix in bran. Combine egg, milk, applesauce, and fat. Add to the dry ingredients all at once, stirring only enough to moisten. Fill greased muffin pans two-thirds full. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, hot oven about 20 minutes. Makes about 12 medium-sized muffins. Applesauce whole wheat muffins. Use same recipe, replacing bran with one cup whole wheat flour and using one cup applesauce. Do not try to sift this flour. For different flavor, add one teaspoon grated orange rind to the milk. Apple griddle cakes. Brighten any breakfast or supper. One and one half cup sifted flour, one and one half teaspoons baking powder, three quarter teaspoon salt, one tablespoon sugar, one egg beaten, one cup milk, two tablespoons melted fat, two cups very fine chopped apples. Sift dry ingredients together. Combine the egg, milk, and fat. Add gradually to the dry ingredients. Stir only until batter is smooth. Fold in apples. Drop by spoonfuls onto a hot, greased griddle. Cook slowly until the surface is covered with bubbles. Turn and cook until the bottom is well browned. Makes about 18 medium-sized griddle cakes. Apples in Cookies A piece of cut apple in the cookie jar is a familiar device to keep cookies from drying out quickly. These applesauce cookies have the moisture and fruit flavor built in. Applesauce Drop Cookies One half cup fat, one cup sugar, one egg, one and three quarter cup sifted flour, one half teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon soda, one half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon cinnamon, one half teaspoon cloves, one half teaspoon nutmeg, one half cup seedless raisins, one cup quick cooking rolled oats, one cup applesauce. Cream together fat and sugar, stir in the egg. Sift together flour, baking powder, soda salt cinnamon cloves nutmeg mix in raisins and rolled oats add to creamed mixture in three portions alternately with applesauce in two portions beat well drop dough by teaspoonfuls onto greased baking sheets bake at 375 degrees fahrenheit moderate oven about 15 minutes makes about three dozen cookies applesauce refrigerator cookies three quarter cup fat one cup sugar one egg, two and one half cup sifted flour, one half teaspoon soda, one quarter teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon cloves, one half cup chopped nuts, one half cup applesauce. 
cream together fat and sugar stir in the egg sift together flour soda salt cinnamon and cloves mix in nuts add to creamed mixture in three portions alternately with the applesauce in two portions form into rolls wrap in wax paper and chill in refrigerator slice thinly bake on greased baking sheets at 375 degrees fahrenheit moderate oven 10 to 15 minutes makes about five dozen cookies chocolate applesauce bars two squares two ounces unsweetened chocolate one half cup fat one cup sugar two eggs slightly beaten one cup applesauce one and a quarter cup sifted flour one half teaspoon baking powder one half teaspoon soda one half teaspoon salt one quarter teaspoon cloves one quarter teaspoon nutmeg one half teaspoon cinnamon one half cup chopped nut meats melt chocolate and fat together over hot water cool slightly blend in sugar eggs and applesauce sift together the flour baking powder soda salt and spices add to first mixture stir in the nut meats spread the batter in two greased eight inch square pans bake at 350 degrees fahrenheit moderate oven 30 to 40 minutes cool in pan then cut into three dozen small bars end of section five section six of apples in appealing ways this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org read by betty b apples in appealing ways by mary t swickard apples in desserts part one when it comes to desserts apples are in their glory and the cook can always find a way to prepare them that fits right in with her plans she can make desserts with apples raw or cooked applesauce juice or canned slices apple desserts can be hot or cold quick to fix or time consuming but well worth it recipes given here provide examples of the many ways of topping off the meal with apples baked apples core apples without cutting through the blossom end pare apples one-third of the way down place apples in a baking dish sprinkle the holes lightly with salt and add one tablespoon sugar to each apple top with table fat and sprinkle sugar over pared portion of apples pour enough water in bottom of dish to keep apples from sticking bake uncovered at four hundred degrees fahrenheit hot oven about one hour or until apples are tender four variety one fill the apples with chopped fresh cranberries and bake two fill centers with crushed pineapple after baking top apples with marshmallows and return to oven for a few minutes three serve with a topping of cream cheese softened with cream and beaten until fluffy apple cheese dessert five cups apple slices pared one tablespoon lemon juice three-quarter cup sugar one quarter teaspoon cinnamon one half cup sifted flour one quarter teaspoon salt one quarter cup table fat two-thirds cup grated cheese fill pie pan or shallow baking dish with apples sprinkle with lemon juice and one quarter cup of the sugar mix cinnamon flour salt and the other one half cup sugar cut in fat until mixture is granular stir in cheese spread over apples bake at 350 degrees fahrenheit moderate oven until apples are tender about 40 minutes cool before cutting to serve serve with plain cream or ice cream if desired six servings dessert apple slices slice pared apple quarters put slices into pan and add enough water to half cover apples add a few grains of salt and two to four tablespoons of sugar for each apple used put the cover on and cook gently until apples are tender 20 to 30 minutes serve chilled plain or with cream or bake some of the drained slices in custard apple pie six medium-sized tart apples quartered three quarter to one cup sugar one teaspoon cinnamon one teaspoon salt two tablespoons table fat pastry for nine inch pie pare core and slice the apples line a pie pan with pastry place a layer of apples over the bottom sprinkle with a mixture of the sugar cinnamon and salt dot with fat repeat until all ingredients are used cover with pastry that has a few slits in the center so steam can escape seal edges 
bake at 425 degrees fahrenheit hot oven 40 to 50 minutes or until apples are tender and crust is well browned french apple pie mix one cup seedless raisins with the apples and reduce the sugar to one half cup to frost mix one half cup confectioner's sugar with two teaspoons water and spread over top crust of cooled pie apple tapioca two medium-sized apples one half cup sugar one quarter teaspoon salt two cups water two tablespoons quick cooking tapioca nutmeg if desired pare and slice apples add sugar and salt to the water put over heat and stir until sugar is dissolved add apples and cover the pan cook slowly until apples are just tender about fifteen minutes carefully stir in tapioca and continue cooking a few minutes until tapioca is transparent sprinkle with nutmeg and serve with plain or whipped cream red apple tapioca add one quarter cup red cinnamon candies to water and stir until dissolved before adding apples omit nutmeg four servings apple custard one cup dessert apple slices or canned apple slices drained three tablespoons sugar one quarter teaspoon salt two eggs beaten one and one half cups hot milk nutmeg arrange apples in bottom of four custard cups combine sugar salt and eggs add milk slowly pour over apples sprinkle with nutmeg set cups in a pan of hot water bake at 325 degrees fahrenheit slow oven until the custard is set 30 to 40 minutes four servings applesauce puff four slices bread or plain cake two tablespoons butter or margarine one and one half cups applesauce one teaspoon cinnamon one third cup brown sugar one egg one cup milk one quarter teaspoon salt spread bread or cake slices with butter or margarine and arrange in the bottom of a greased baking dish cover with applesauce sprinkle with cinnamon and about half the sugar beat together egg milk salt and rest of sugar omit sugar in this mixture if cake is used pour over mixture in baking dish set in pan of hot water and bake at 350 degrees fahrenheit moderate oven about 40 minutes four servings frozen applesauce cream one cup applesauce one cup thin cream one third cup sugar one quarter cup lemon juice combine ingredients stirring until sugar is dissolved pour into freezing tray and freeze at the coldest refrigerator temperature until firm turn into chilled bowl and beat smooth return quickly to tray freeze four servings end of section six section seven of apples in appealing ways this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Apples in Appealing Ways by Mary T. Swickard. Apples and Desserts, Part 2. Applesauce Bavarian Cream. One tablespoon gelatin, one quarter cup cold water, three quarter cup applesauce, two tablespoons lemon juice, one half teaspoon grated lemon rind, one quarter cup sugar, one quarter teaspoon each cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg one quarter teaspoon salt one half cup heavy cream whipped one half cup crushed ginger snaps sprinkle gelatin on water and soak for a few minutes heat applesauce lemon juice and lemon rind with half the sugar dissolve gelatin in hot applesauce add spices chill until partly set add salt to egg white and beat until stiff add rest of sugar slowly beating until glossy fold egg white mixture cream and half of the crumbs into gelatin mixture or into mold chill until firm before serving sprinkle with the rest of the crumbs four servings applesauce gelatin dessert three cups applesauce one half cup one box gelatin dessert powder any fruit flavor thirty two small vanilla wafers one half cup heavy cream one tablespoon sugar heat applesauce slowly stirring frequently stir dessert powder into hot applesauce stir until dissolved chill until partly set place a layer of wafers in bottom of eight inch square pan pour in applesauce mixture and cover with another layer of wafers chill until firm 
top with sweetened whipped cream just before serving nine servings apple sauce chiffon pie one tablespoon gelatin one quarter cup cold water three eggs separated one and one half cups applesauce one eighth teaspoon ginger one quarter teaspoon cinnamon one half cup milk one tablespoon lemon juice one half teaspoon grated lemon rind one half cup sugar one quarter teaspoon salt nine inch baked pastry shell or graham cracker shell nutmeg if desired sprinkle gelatin on water soak a few minutes beat egg yolk slightly and add the applesauce ginger cinnamon milk lemon juice and rind and half the sugar cook over boiling water stirring constantly 20 to 25 minutes add gelatin to the hot mixture stir until dissolved cool until thick but not set add salt to egg whites and beat until stiff add rest of sugar slowly beating constantly blend with a thickened gelatin mixture pour into the shell and sprinkle with nutmeg if desired chill until firm applesauce wash quarter and core apples cook until soft with a small amount of water in a covered pan put apples through a sieve or food press add a few grains of salt and sweeten to taste while still hot quick applesauce pare quartered and cored apples cook as above when apples are tender crush pieces with a potato masher or stir until smooth add salt and sweeten as above for variety sweeten the sauce with brown sugar or honey or cook a few whole cloves or a piece of stick cinnamon or a few raisins with the apples remove cinnamon before serving if the apples are very mild cook one to two teaspoons of lemon juice with them apple juice cake one half cup fat one half teaspoon vanilla one cup sugar two eggs two cups sifted cake flour one teaspoon baking powder one half teaspoon soda one half teaspoon salt one half teaspoon cinnamon one quarter teaspoon cloves one half teaspoon nutmeg three quarter cup apple juice cream fat vanilla and sugar together until light and fluffy add the eggs one at a time beating each one in well sift together flour baking powder soda salt cinnamon cloves and nutmeg add to creamed mixture in three portions alternately with apple juice in two portions turn batter into two greased eight inch round layer pans bake at 375 degrees fahrenheit moderate oven 25 to 30 minutes variation add one cup of raisins to the batter fluffy apple juice frosting one cup sugar one half cup apple juice pinch of salt one tablespoon lemon juice two egg whites stiffly beaten mix sugar apple juice salt and lemon juice cook until the syrup forms a soft ball 234 degrees to 240 degrees fahrenheit when a little of it is dropped into a cup of very cold water pour very slowly over stiffly beaten egg whites beating constantly continue beating until mixture stands in soft peaks spread between layers and over top and sides of cake variations when frosting is ready to spread stir in one half cup chopped pecans or hazelnuts or shredded almonds for a more festive cake sprinkle one quarter cup pink tinted shredded coconut over the top after frosting is spread apple snacks as a snack or a fruity appetizer for tea use apple slices spread with a topping apple which is there sometimes called especially when a second apple slice is placed over the topping to prepare the slices core the apple and cut thick rounds leaving the colorful peel on toppings include soft sharp cheese cream cheese with strawberry jam or chopped nuts peanut butter and mayonnaise sliced ham chicken or turkey or any of these meats ground and mixed with mayonnaise end of section seven end of apples in appealing ways by mary t swickard